the American action thriller movie, Run Hide Fight, will be explained today. Warning. Contains spoilers. Senior high school student Zoe Hull. Zoe had entirely given up on life since her cancer-stricken mother passed away recently. She goes hunting early one morning with her father, Todd. He shoots at bucks that don't instantaneously pass away after being shot. There are two options available to the father and daughter. Either wait for the animal to experience a tortuous death, or mercy kill it. Zoe grabs a rock and slams it upon the buck's head as Todd tries to explain why there might be a better choice. Todd is startled by how little pity she has for the animal. He is aware that her odd behavior is a result of the trauma brought on by her mother's passing. Later, while eating breakfast, Zoe has a recurring hallucination of speaking to her mother. Talking to her is the one thing that brings Zoe peace in life, even if she is aware that it sounds absurd and hasn't been revealed to anybody yet. Lewis, her closest buddy, picks her up so she may go to school. Their car is forced off the road as they are traveling because of a car full of douchebags from their school. Zoe observes Chris, one of her students, putting something in the middle of the pitch while they wait for it to begin. She finds that strange, but for someone like Chris who is a misfit, it is typical. At school, today is senior prank day. Lewis and Zoe both fear the juvenile tricks the senior students pull on the professors. Zoe's chemistry instructor misses. Jane notes a noticeable difference in her conduct in the wake of her mother's tragic passing. She tries to talk to her about it, but she is rejected right away. Then, inside her locker, Zoe discovers a prom proposal from Lewis. She detests having to say no to him and never wanted to attend the prom. At their lunchtime meeting in the cafeteria, she makes an effort to change the topic. Because he doesn't want them to be at home while the rest of the school is having fun, Lewis brings up the subject and stresses that he is asking her as a friend. Zoe excuses herself to use the lavatory while plainly unhappy. Many harmless explosions are happening throughout the city at the same moment. Police, paramedics, and firefighters are working hard to maintain control of the situation. The explosions are obviously deliberate. When Zoe enters the lavatory, she discovers Anna, a bully, concealing something above a vent. She checks the vent after the bully has left but discovers nothing. A van enters the cafeteria through the glass entrance unexpectedly, striking a man as it does so. Chris, a man Zoe had seen earlier that day, gets out of the car and shoots the injured man to death. Three people, Chris' sister Anna, who he met earlier in the toilet, the school's loser Kip, and the gang's leader Tristan, join him. They are the ones that scattered explosives throughout the town to divert the attention of the police and are now in town to shoot it up. To demonstrate their authority and convince the rest to remain silent, they immediately execute a few people. When one of the hurt females bursts in and begs for aid, Zoe is just about to exit the lavatory. Despite her terror, Zoe is powerless to save her before she dies. She cautiously exits the building to carefully observe the shooter's talk after realizing something is seriously wrong. The commander, Tristan, informs the students that they are now his captives and must follow all of his commands. He recognizes a person in the crowd who used to taunt him daily in the hallways. Without the leader's consent, Chris kills the man. Tristan desired the same thing, but he advises Chris to remain calm and to only use the rifle when necessary. To make sure everyone has left, Kip goes to the lavatory. When Zoe notices this, she hurriedly ascends the vent to avoid being caught. In an effort to get to the other exit, she then crawls through it. In the meantime, Tristan requests that the girl take out her phone and make a call to a loved one. She contacts her mother, tells her what's going on, and expresses her love. The mother on the other end of the line promises to dial 911 right away. Tristan informs everyone that the police have been notified following the call so that they can forego attempting to phone them covertly at this time. He even permits them to make one last call to their parents before they pass away. The group follows instructions and bids their loved ones a sorrowful farewell in case they don't come home today. The vent breaks as Zoe is hanging over the kitchen, and she drops to the ground. Chris enters in response to the disturbance and searches for the intruder. In order to save Zoe who is hiding, the kitchen worker goes outside and takes a bullet for her. Zoe is startled to see her limp body on the ground but she immediately gathers herself. Tristan then makes a call to the school's front desk and informs her about the dead students. She doesn't believe him, so she quickly tells the principal and the security guard. 
In another location, Zoe successfully exits the school through the kitchen's rear door. She runs into some of her classmates and lets them know what's going on inside. After the call, Tristan commands every hostage to launch a live feed on whichever platform they choose. He desires to make a statement and announce his actions to the world. He asks all platforms to work together before starting the stream since more people would die if they forbid it. The principal and the security officer burst in as he begins to greet the audience. Tristan invites them in and asks if they understand why he is doing all of this rather than being afraid. The principal discloses that Tristan's poor behavior and failing grades caused him to be summoned to his office twice last week. He was referred to as a useless loser who will never amount to anything by the principal. Yet for Tristan, the shootout is about more than just a few encounters. He is a smart, educated man who has experienced bullying and beatings at the hands of the community. In attempting to calm him down, the principal is fatally shot. On the other hand, the security guard is permitted to flee. Lewis ends up being the captive with the most live watchers, so Tristan makes him the main cameraman and positions him in the front. In the meantime, Zoe visits each classroom to inform the students of the situation. Some teachers shoo her away because they assume it's just a joke, while others take her word for it. To tell them one by one will still take a long time. In order for everyone to escape on their own, Zoe sounds the fire alarm. A guard is killed and all the switches are destroyed by Anna, who is in the electrical room. The alarm is then turned off, and everyone who had left their classroom enters again. The front desk agent instructs the children to remain in place and announces over the loudspeakers that the school is in lockdown. The first group of police officers shows up just then. Some news outlets have already begun to cover the story by this point, but Tristan wants them to air the live stream on national television. A bag of explosives detonates when Zoe eventually makes it to the receptionist's desk, killing everyone but her. Although the explosion came a little late, the group had carefully prepared the attack so that the pupils wouldn't be informed. In a dream, Zoe hears her mother telling her that the situation is silly. She suddenly sees Anna, so she pretends to be dead. She leaves, and Zoe knocks on a classroom door, to keep the crowd informed. Anna, however, hears her and rushes to investigate the commotion. While Zoe tries to run away, she is shot in the leg. The girls eventually find themselves in the teacher's chamber, which the students had rigged up with balloons as a practical joke. When Anna is weak, Zoe lurks inside the room and strikes. She finally shoots her dead after a brief battle. The address and family history of Tristan are discovered by the police. When a police officer visits his home, he discovers his mother dead on the sofa. She appears to have been there for some time at this point. Tristan killed her, that much is clear. Tristan keeps Chris in charge at school while he heads to a Spanish session. When the teacher orders him to stop, he forces her to remove her top. Despite her reluctance, she must face the hundreds of viewers watching her on the live broadcast. When Todd learns about the incident, he immediately jumps in his pickup and drives to the school. Parents, police, and news organizations have all congregated outside by this point. The primary reason Chris joined Tristan on the expedition was because he began to hear voices in his head. He opens fire on the police outside after hearing the voices. Tristan returns to the cafeteria with the Spanish teacher and her students after becoming distracted by the noise. A short minutes later, Kip runs into Zoe and starts firing at her from behind. He is knocked out by Zoe when she assaults him with a fire extinguisher in the slick hallway where they end up. She then takes him inside the theater and places handcuffs on him so he can sit down. Once more making an appearance, her mother informs the girl that Zoe is keeping her from dying completely since she won't let go of her. She is talking to herself when Kip awakens, and he immediately assumes that she is one of them. Zoe wonders how he ended up taking part in the shooting. It turns out that when he was in middle school, he was undressed in front of the assembly. Since then, people have been making behind his back jokes. If he ever considered that the giggles were simply from happiness, Zoe queries. She mocks him for murdering those who had nothing to do with bullying. She also says that when people learn he was involved in the shooting, they will talk about the assembly situation more. The remark appears to set off his trauma and cause him to become aware of the lies Tristan has been feeding him. When Zoe leaves the house to get Kip's gun, she sees Mrs. Jane leading her class outside. When Zoe sees the gun, 
The teacher suspects she is also a shooter, but she is quick to dispel that notion. She assists them, but she won't leave the house until the other students are taken care of. She is joined by Mrs. Jane before they head to the library. A student who has been saved informs Todd that his daughter assisted them and continued to attend class to assist others. For a father, the news is bittersweet. Tristan realizes right away that the pupils are being helped to flee by someone. He dials Anna's number and demands to speak with the individual responsible for all of this. Zoe courageously informs him that she murdered Anna. Before he starts killing the hostages, Tristan tells her to meet him in the cafeteria in five minutes. He shoots a random girl to show her that he is serious. Todd decides to save his daughter on his own after seeing this in the live feed and pulling out his hunting rifle. Zoe visits Kip inside, who is currently wallowing in regret. This makes it simpler for her to persuade him to switch allegiances. She gives him the revolver and all of her trust before heading to the cafeteria. Tristan remembers seeing Zoe in the corridors a few times, so he is astonished to see that she is the one generating issues for him. She dares him as she confidently stands in front of him. Kip enters in the back at that precise moment to defend her. Knowing that Kip wasn't competent enough to be involved in the first place, Tristan laughs. After a shootout, Chris murders Kip. Lewis and Zoe seize the chance to flee while Chris is pursuing them. After a while of running, Lewis admits to having been shot. He is placed on a sofa in an office by Zoe, who then kisses him there. She makes a pledge to accompany Chris to prom and dashes outdoors in an effort to attract his attention. They finally get in the chemistry lab, where Zoe activates the gas and causes a little explosion. Todd, who is currently in the forest behind the school, notices the flames enough. To save his daughter, he has snuck inside. Ultimately, Chris locates Zoe and is about to murder her when Todd shoots him. He is immediately apprehended by the police and relieved to have saved his daughter. Chris receives Tristan's phone call, but Zoe answers. Her mother stands by her side and bolsters her resolve. Tristan is questioned about Chris's death after Zoe sends him a picture of Chris's corpse. Now that he is alone himself, Tristan finds his entire plan falling apart. He enters the van and detonates an explosive as a final resort. On the phone, Zoe informs him that all of his efforts were in vain. He wanted to make a point, yet she will be remembered by the public rather than him. When Tristan finds it's true, he goes insane. He picks a random hostage, leaving the rest behind, and takes him to the rooftop. Returning to the cafeteria, Zoe discovers that the bomb has barely 40 seconds left before detonating. She forces the hostages to flee and moves the van outside swiftly. Thankfully, no one is wounded in the subsequent explosion. She then goes back to the hallways and is restrained by a SWAT member. Zoe's mother bids her farewell at that point and departs after successfully breaking free from Zoe's heart. The sheriff approaches Zoe in the next scene, shakes her hand, and commends her for her bravery. He tells her that Tristan was completely destroyed in an explosion. She meets her father, who has been taken into custody in a police cruiser, after a brief conversation. He expresses to her his pride. Lewis is no longer in a serious condition and is also being led into an ambulance. But then Zoe sees a suspicious-looking person leaving the school. She grabs her father's rifle and walks after him. The individual pulls some cash out of a creek's bank. Realizing that Tristan most likely faked his death to escape, Zoe points the weapon at him. Before approaching him, she fires a bullet into his chest. Like the deer at the beginning of the movie, he is still alive. He doesn't merit her compassion, though, unlike the buck, so she abandons him to a tortuous demise. She returns to the school grounds in the final scene and tells the sheriff what occurred. Turn on notifications, like this video, and subscribe for more such ones. Thank you.